where it's 77 degrees. And yes, the sun is coming up now, but it's getting later and later. So meteorologist Amanda Holly is going to talk about what to look forward to with these sunrises. Yeah, and that's going to be shorter days. Mm -hmm. We're seeing the sunrises get later. We're also seeing the sunsets getting shorter. Now, right now, it's actually happening pretty fast. And for the next three months, on average, we lose almost a minute and a half of daylight per day. So that does add up. Let's take a look at, at it. Today, we have just over 13 hours total of daylight with the sunrise right around 7 a.m and sunset at 8.07 p.m. But one month from now, we actually lose almost an hour of daylight with a total of 12 hours and 17 minutes of daylight. Sun rises a little bit later, sunset is a little bit earlier. Two months from now, from today, we lose over an hour and a half of daylight. Now, three months from now, we do get to account the, ch the time change. So we fall back on November 6th. So on November 16th, three months from now, we see that sunrise happen right about now. But check out how much daylight we have. Only 10 hours and 44 minutes of daylight. That's over two hours shorter than what we experience right now. And of course, that sunset is uh, a lot earlier at 536, three months from now. So it's a slower process, Lee, but it's certainly happening now as we get toward fall. And we certainly need to remember that as we start sending the kids out to school to walk to the bus stop or to school. It may be getting darker, so make sure they have something to make them visible to drivers. How